Now, I know y'all love patterns that are just super simple to tie, but really catch fish. Well, I've got one of those for you today. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Matt. Thanks for stopping by. Now, I've got another one of these patterns that's just really easy to tie, and it's named pretty much exactly what it is. It's called a crystal midge. Now, this pattern was created by George Close of Keele, Wisconsin. Now, George has another more popular fly called the Close Carpet. That's a dry fly made out of Antron carpet fibers. We're going to do that one in a couple of weeks. Now, this pattern today called the Crystal Midge, I've tied a version of this thing for years. It's just basically a curve shank hook with a peacock curl body and then some kind of crystal flash for a thorax, either with or without a bead. So there's no exotic materials to this. It does call for this stuff right here, which is a, a cactus chenille. You can either get it in these spools or on cards. I'll put a link to it in the description for some of the stuff I use. If you've never tied with it, you should check it out. It's really some pretty cool stuff. Now this pattern today, I will tie this in all kinds of colors. The only constant in it is the peacock curl body. I'll tie it with a gold or a silver bead, even some rainbow beads and pink and green. You'll see one of those in just a second. Now you can get all kinds of mileage on a simple pattern like this. It's so easy to tie. It's really only claim to fame is it just catches fish. So I think y'all are gonna like it. Let's give it a shot. So there's one in the vise. Just a pretty simple crystal midge. Fairly nondescript pattern, certainly easy to tie. Now this one is on a pretty standard, just curve shank nymph hook, that's a size 14. Now I'm gonna go with a different hook this time. This is a size 16, but you can see it's a little bit longer. This one is a, a fire hole competition hook. So I don't know, it says extended length, maybe it's one X long, could possibly be two X long. Now one thing to note, that's a 2.4 millimeter tungsten bead, and I will tie these with gold and silver, green, pink, you name it. Um, but you might have to go with an oversized bead to get it around this really tight bend on some of these fire hole hooks. And I'm gonna put some weight down, not much, four, maybe five wraps, just to really hold that bead in place here. And I'm going to use some white thread. You'll see why I'm choosing white in a minute. If you don't have white, black's going to be fine. It's not a, a huge deal, but I'll tell you why I use white in a minute and you might be able to see. So just take a base well around the bend of the hook. And I am going to rib this with some wire. This is a black UTC and extra small. Now, the only purpose for this is to make it stronger. Let's get our thread back up front and then catch this in right behind the weight and all the way back to where we're gonna start wrapping our body. So take a look at that rib. That is really not any thicker than my thread, but it's stronger, I mean, it's metal. So next thing we're gonna do, peacock curl. This is our body. So take two strands, I've already snipped off the, the first couple of inches of the really brittle stuff. I'm just gonna catch it in right behind this weight right here. And I'll leave my thread about halfway, just since I've got two strands, if it starts spreading out on me. Now, I don't really want this to be a big, fat, thick body. It's called a crystal midge. So envision more of a zebra midge body, a fairly thin, body and you don't necessarily need a big taper up here. Of course it does look a little bit like a, a caddis pupa so if you're wanting to imitate caddis pupa sure go ahead and make it a fatter body. I don't think it's that big a deal though. So let's take this just shy of the bead. Remember we're going to put some of the crystal chenille right up behind the bead so we want to leave a little bit of room for that and just break that off couple extra wraps there and I'm gonna counter wrap this rib just four or five turns right here you won't see it but it will certainly make the fly a little bit stronger okay two or three good wraps right there I'm gonna put some tension on my thread so I can spin this off now the next component just use this cactus chenille I've got several spools and several different colors. I'll link to this in the description. It's some pretty cool stuff. So just take a 
couple of inches of this and I'm gonna use purple I think the purple will go well with this silver bead because it'll it'll really look almost like it's a, a silver chenille with just a slight hint of purple to it so go ahead and catch that in and then however many wraps you want to do two three you might want to go a wrap on top of another wrap just to, to bulk it up a little bit more if you want you know a fatter thorax so I think that is three wraps let's go try to fatten it up just a little bit one more right there and then eh, okay I'm gonna catch it off right here on the bottom with a couple wraps before I snip it so just wedge that thread right down between the chenille and your bead and then snip this off eh, fairly close Now, just a few extra wraps, just kind of really wedging them down in there. And now we've got room for our whip finish. But you can see why I'm choosing the white thread because if I had a black thread right now, you might see the silver bead and then a black band and then that chenille. And I wanted to kind of avoid that. So let's go ahead and whip finish it and then we'll might need to take our brush and pull some of these cactus chenille fibers out. pull them out with your finger or just you know take your a dubbing brush and scruff it up right there you might want to if you're going to use some head cement I guess you'd probably just put a tiny little drop on that bead and let it wig down there next to the thread wraps but really that's it it's a very simple pattern and again you can get a lot of mileage out of something like this just by changing your bead head or changing a little bit of that crystal flash up front or crystal chenille I mean so that's it, everybody. I appreciate you watching. Y'all take care, and we'll see you next time.